you. Good morning, you. It's gonna be a good day. We're hoping to get home late today. We're about 12, 13 hours from home, so it's gonna be a long day. 1,187 kilometers. It's, if nothing goes wrong, we could just barely, barely make it. Maybe, we'll see. But the ESO here in Hearst, Ontario, remember a couple of years ago, or was it last year? We were so shocked that we went in there and they didn't have coffee. They didn't, sell, they didn't have coffee. I've never been somewhere where they're like, yeah, we don't have coffee. What? What? And then I went in there last time and I believe they had coffee, maybe, but they only got the tiny little cups. And then I went in there again today, no coffee again. So I walked over to their neighbor here, Shell, and I told them I'm going to Shell from now on because whenever I come here, you don't have what I need. And this store is a little bit better maintained too. It's cleaner when you walk in. I don't know. I, I take pride, I, or I can't say I take pride in the businesses I walk into. That's, that's the wrong way of putting it. I like walking into a business where the owner takes pride in their business and where everything is clean and looks nice and smells nice and is organized and neat and orderly, right? The cleaner, the better. The cleaner your store, the more business you will have from me. I don't know, it's not like I, I look for these things, but I just notice that it happens naturally. And I think that that happens with a lot of other people too. The cleaner your store, the nicer it looks, the more people will come and buy stuff from you. I, I don't know. And that's the case here. I'm, I'm coming to show from now on every time I go through Hearst. So cold, I walk all the way into the store in the cold just to be disappointed so next time I'm just gonna skip that trip and I'm just gonna walk into this store instead we ready to go diesel you ready to go you ready to rock and roll buddy that's a yes okay let's pull this wide load onto the road we have 13 hours available to us to drive and we need to also get into Manitoba before dark I can't pull this on Highway 11 or 17 in Ontario here during the night. That's why we had to stop yesterday before the sun went down. I'm mean, not before the sun, just after the sun went down. Uh, the rules are one half hour after sunset, I gotta shut this thing down on the two lane roads here in Ontario. And then I can't start again until one half hour before sunrise. So, in normal people speak, I can't drive at night. I'm a little bit worried though because uh, I didn't realize it was going to get so cold today. It's minus 26 outside and I didn't put any anti-gel in my fuel. I didn't realize it was going to get so cold. The forecast said it was only going to be minus, well minus 20? That's 6 degrees lower than what the forecast told me. I should have done it anyways, but those things are expensive, so I, I try to only put them in when I need to put them in, right? I think we'll be fine. It'll warm up now that the sun is up in the air. Uh, it's just early in the morning, so that crisp, cold air is here, you know? Usually, with Canadian fuel in my tanks, around minus 25 is when I start putting anti-gel in. But I got a little bit of American fuel mixed in there with it, though, right? Because I was in the States. And I fueled up just before coming into Canada. That should be pretty much all burned off, but it's still a little mixed in there. And the diesel in the States has got more plants in it than the diesel in Canada. They use more biodiesel in their mix. And that biodiesel causes it to freeze sooner or gel up sooner. You always gotta be careful with their fuel. It, 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 they do that so that it's cheaper, right? That's why their fuel's, one of the reasons their fuel is a lot cheaper because they, uh, <laughs> it's fake. <laughs> It's not real dinosaur fuel. It's part plant fuel. They... Okay, so no fuel for 211 kilometers. So like I was saying yesterday, we really don't want any problems to happen on this stretch of highway. It's the most remote stretch of highway in my opinion, in uh, at least in Northern Ontario here. Oh, that's not counting the ice roads up north. But the main highways I'm referring to, I think you know what I mean, right? 
Let's hope our fuel will be all right. I, I, I'm pretty sure it would be. If I wasn't sure, I would stop and do something about it, but eh, I'm right on that borderline where I'm like, yeah, I should have put anti-gel in right on the borderline. Like, eh, maybe I shouldn't have, maybe I should have. Probably should have. What kind of load is this? Wow, are you gonna be slow, buddy? Because that's gonna suck. bit of a kerfluffle cluster here in Nipigon, Ontario at the Petrol Pass. This is, uh, you got the Timmies off here to the right where all the four-wheelers are trying to get into. And then you got the Petrol Pass fuel pumps off to the left where I want to get to as well as all those other trucks there. Then you got truck parking off just to our right here. All these cars, I left room for them to get around to the Timmies over there. But these guys can't get out now because the line up here is taking too long. I see one truck moving around back there, but this guy's blocking my path of getting there. What a mess. What a mess. I'm going to try to get past him anyway. Is he going to back up and take that? I don't know. If he's not going to back up and go and take that empty lane there, then I think I might. I don't think he wants to. Yikes. There's way too many trucks here for the size of this lot. I don't think I can fit between that blue truck off to the right and the back of this guy's trailer to get around him to the other side. I guess we're waiting. Hoping to pull in up ahead here for another coffee. One last one before getting on the final stretch of road. We're getting close to the Manitoba border here. But these guys in front of me are uh, clearly getting paid by the hour. Been behind them for a good 45 minutes now and Believe me, they're getting paid by the hour. Big Canada flag, hushke. The only thing about pulling in here for a coffee is all the slow people that I just passed and it took forever to get past, they're all gonna get in front of me now. I'm gonna have to pass them again. But it is what it is. I need a little bit of a bite to eat. thirsty, I'm hungry, I'm a little bit grumpy and a little bit of caffeine is gonna fix that.
morning everybody we're at home today just gonna take a quick little stop in here at the gym my arms have finally recovered after my workout three days ago my arms have finally recovered from three days ago when we uh, stopped there in Michigan they were hurting pretty good for three days <laughs> but that's good it's good that means I was did some good to them you know working on them this location in Steinbeck here is definitely the best snap fitness that I have been to yet and I've only been to a couple <laughs> but from what I've seen on Google Maps and looking at different ones that I can stop at around Canada and the US this is definitely by far the biggest and best one there's two levels here and uh, brand new they got showers here they told me that there were showers at every snap fitness apparently there's not so just a heads up for you if you want a shower I'll find somewhere else to shower. I mean, if you're on the road, if you live around the area, you can just go home and shower, obviously. But me, when I'm traveling on the road, I wanted to know, like, will I be able to shower after I work out? No. I can shower here, but here I don't need to shower because here I can just go home and shower. But at least I got a nice location to go to when I'm at home here. Let's go in there. I'm to do a quick workout. I'd like to shovel off the roof off the... Yeah, I'd like to shovel the snow off the roof today yet, but I don't think I'll have time. I think I'll do it on the weekend. It's supposed to be pretty cold yet, so I don't think that... It should melt any. Once the snow starts melting, it gets heavier and heavier. And I want to get that off the roof before that happens. But So much to do. The fan and the furnace in the garage also went today. There's a little electric motor. And one of the plugs, just one of the wires got old and it broke off. So the fan's not working. So i got to replace that plug yet. And I don't have that little plug. So i got to go and get that little plug. But today's a holiday. It's family day. Or in Manitoba, it's trader day. Or, wait, no, I think it's got a different name. I think they call it, uh, I think it's officially called Louis Real Day. Some know it as Trader Day. But, uh, <laughs> Family Day is what it is. It's, it's just an extra holiday that doesn't really mean anything where you're supposed to spend time with your family. And back at the house here. Chevy. Chevy. What you doing? What you doing? I'm feeling kind of guilty right now, actually. Actually, really guilty. This guilty. You don't look that guilty. He's guilty. Britt's just, uh, well, we're actually uh, dual editing here. I got my stuff set up here, and she's here at the desk. And she's just uh, editing up her vlog, talking about what happened to Frankie's little owl hoot and Chevy. She's a cherished member of the family, guys. Yeah. So you can go to her channel and find that out. But, very uh, tragic. Chevy feels very guilty for some reason. Does he, though? Does he? He did. Chevy, should you go to your house? We still haven't found half the remains. Yeah, I should probably go to my house. <laughs> Chevy, you can't take the rabbit with you. That's not yours either. You did, didn't you? Did you take the rabbit? <clears throat> this isn't yours. It's Frankie's toy. We have to save certain toys for Frankie. Otherwise, uh, Chevy destroys them. Diesel's pretty nice with them, but... Diesel's gentle, but once he sees that there's a hole, he'll go for the stuffing. Yeah, well, he doesn't make the hole. He never realizes that there's stuff inside there until Chevy exposes it, and then he's like, oh! <laughs> Intriguing. Mm -hmm, what else is in there? <laughs> right? <laughs> That's for you. There you go. Free. Yeah dark in here. I know you guys can't see much. My wife likes the house to be dark I all the time. I forgot to tell you, Gator Claus also lost his hat Oh. this trip. Not Gator Claus. Gator Claus is no longer Gator Claus. He's just a gator. He's got no, no more Santa Claus hat. Yeah. Oh no. Yes. Frankie, I'm so sorry for your loss. We're gonna have to get him a couple new toys. Poor guy doesn't get any unless we protect him fiercely. <laughs> so like I was telling you guys before, it took three days for my arms to heal up from when I went to the gym over in, uh, where was that, Schwartz Creek? Schwartz Creek or whatever in Michigan, I think? Right by Flint, Michigan? Three days, that's how out of shape they were. But they're starting to feel better today, so I went and worked them again today. We'll, we'll see how they feel tomorrow. They should be better. A little more used to it. That gym in Steinbeck is so nice. Two levels. Mm -hmm. I would show you guys around in there, but they have, I've told you that before, they have a policy, no cameras in there. Makes people nervous. Oh yeah, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, because yeah. the people who uh, 
don't really want to show off. They're not quite at the level yet that they're proud of. They don't want to be all over YouTube. I guess. I personally wouldn't care, but I'm not a shy person. Some people are, and I gotta respect that. Yeah. Anyways, what was I gonna do? Oh yeah, I was gonna go outside and grab uh, the water jugs. Go pump some water iron. Yeah, go pump some, some water. Why did you just have a Boston accent? Because you said pump some iron. In the Arnold Schwarzenegger accent. But he's Austrian. Pump some water. Not from Boston. Quick, get some water. No? No? That's so angry. <laughs> Arnold's not that angry. He's a pretty angry guy. No, he isn't. <laughs> it sounds angry. It's just because he's Austrian. 